Hey everybody, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name is Mary. It's been two weeks. I um, got back from our cruise last Monday. Um, very tired. It took me a week to recover um, from that. I'm still a little tired. I've never been on a chartered cruise or a you know a, a theme cruise, so to speak. This was music, 80s um, metal music, and it was exhausting. I mean, it was just go, 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 go. And then we flew back into Atlanta, which was during rush hour. We had to drive home. It was a nightmare. But um, it was still fun, but it was exhausting and um, took me a week to recover. I didn't read a lot on the cruise, didn't have time. I read at night. Um, the last minute I remembered I had not downloaded any books. Um, and I wasn't going to have internet on the ship. So really quickly on my Kindle, I um, I finished downloading a, a series that I had started. It was an MC Romance series, um, Archer Creek series by Gemma Weir, um, which was actually for an MC series. was, to me, pretty good. I mean, you didn't get all that that crazy vile men you usually get in these MC romances. It was actually, um, I enjoyed that series. A little too much inner dialogue for me, but it still was better than a lot of the MC romance series that, you know, you get. Um, as you know, I've talked about it. They're, they're really tough to love. So anyway, I'm back and I have been reading um, this past week a good bit. Um, I actually... What have I read? Um, oh, The Gamble. Um, I have read, I just got through with this. I had actually been reading um, some other stuff throughout the week. I was finished the series, the Archer Creek series. Um, I wanted to finish that up. So still not really done with that. I've got a couple more in it, but still not bad. Um, I had a book that came out early that was only supposed to come out, was supposed to come out March 1st. And but this is not for everyone. This was called Sick Love, and it's it's part of a series um, by Candace. What's her last name? Wondrak. Wondrak. I know I'm not saying that right, but it's not for everybody. Trust me. This series is only if you like dark, dark romance because um, it's pretty brutal. But to me, it's more of the psychological thriller part of it. It it's also a reverse harem. Um, which is probably the least favorite for me and um, other than bully romance in the romance category because I just never understood how three, four, two, whatever can be interested or fall in love with one woman. Um, all of them have the same interests in her and so I just, and how it all works, I just don't get that. But this was, these books by her are more like crazy twisted type of things and um it's like a three book series so far. There's another book gonna come out, but Cruel Dark, Sick Love. So if you like dark, twisted romance, you'll like um, Candace's books. But I tell you, trigger, 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 trigger. <laughs> Read the trigger warnings because um, you'll need them for her books. But I still enjoy them. I like, again, the psychological thriller part of it. Um, so I read that. Um, I finished Elisa Braden's book. Um, the Madness of Viscount Atherborn. Um, again, I tried, there is so much inner dialogue on that. Um, it was my first book by her, and I read the reviews, and they said, you know, this probably wasn't the best book to start with by her, but I just didn't, um, I didn't get Victoria, and it was just so much inner dialogue that, you know, not much happening between the couple, and just like I kind of found that in the Archer Creek series I was talking about, you know, you have all that repetitive inner dialogue and at times it's just, it's just so tiring. Um, so I did finish that. I'm going to try more of her books. Um, I have another one downloaded um, in that series, the next one in um, that particular series. But, you know, I just hate a lot of inner dialogue. It's just to me, I want to see the couples interact. Which led me to, again, Laverle Spencer's The Gamble. Now, this is one of my favorites. It's off my shelf. Um, again, you don't get these inside covers a lot anymore. I absolutely love this. Now, this is, um, I think this was released in 1984. 
And if you know Laverl Spencer's um, books, um, very, very good. Um, I really, um, really like this book. I mean, you have, um, this takes place in 1880, I believe. And then you have Scott Gandy, and then you have Abigail, and he calls her Gussie. But she's a 35-year-old spinster. Um, she's a milliner. She makes hats. Um, he's a he's coming into town. He's opening a saloon. He's got the other showgirls and all of that in it. And somehow these two become friends. Now, this is a really, really slow burn. Like, slow burn. But so good. Um, just really, really so good. Because Ab Abigail is 35. Um, really sweet. Really, really love her as a leading female um, character in a book. I like her. She has a disability. Um, she was um, hurt when she was a child, so her hip is uneven, so she walks with a limp. And her and Gandy, I mean, again, he's this rough, tough um, saloon owner, and how these two very different people manage to come together and fall in love um, I just enjoyed it. Of course, I enjoy all of her books. Um, the only thing I'll say about this one is if you don't like to see your leading guy with another woman in the book um, while the relationship's developing, um, it's probably not for you because Scott is in a relationship. It's a casual relationship. He doesn't love this other woman. They're just comfortable, so to speak. Um, that's the only thing I would say. If you don't like that kind of thing, you, you probably don't want to read the book. But it doesn't dwell on it. I mean, it's just it's just such a good story. Um, again, two unlikely people who come together. Um, she's trying to stop the sale of liquor. Obviously, he sells liquor and alcohol and just, just really enjoyed it. So if you've never read The Gamble um, by Laverle Spencer... And it's, again, set in Western times. Um, I loved it. And because I was getting burnt out, like, finding, and again, it's even with the USA Today bestseller authors out there, everyone is going away from true historical romance, like the way things were at that time period, which is why I love the books. In fact, on this one, when I read the reviews, people were upset because they had talked about slavery in this book, um, post-Civil War slavery, you know. But, you know, it, it's history, and that the time period, um, even though we can't fathom that today, and we wouldn't do that today, at that time period, um, it's just the way things were. And it, it doesn't really glamorize it. It just... Um, it just is, but that, I love the historical aspect of these books also, so I don't want to get any of that, but it, it's really hard to find such, you know, a really good, true historical romance read, so after a while, I just get tired, uh, and I just run back to my shelf, uh, so anyway, that was my pick, I'm rambling, that was my pick this week, I picked up The Gamble because I wanted a, like a western type um, thing and I just love um, Abigail and Scott. Um, just two unlikely characters again. Um, very very good book. So what else have I been reading? Um, Sydney Jane Bailey. I'd write down because I've read so many books. Um, Sydney Jane Bailey. Um, I was going to read another series by her. Somehow I downloaded the wrong book first. Um, and it's her Rakes on the Run um, series. I read the first book was The Last Dance in London. And I'll say that that wasn't really my one of my favorites um, by her. I, cause only because it was still a four-star read. She makes me laugh. These books are great, um, humorous. They're fun historical reads. Like if you want a fun historical read, read Sidney Jane Bailey. But I just didn't get... Um, the leading lady, Julia. She was kind of like a modern day or a historical Robin Hood or whatever, not modern day, but she would steal like jewelry um, from the, you know, the gentry, the rich gentry or whatever. And she would resell it um, to pay for like the orphanages and things like that. 
I just didn't get um, why she kept doing it even after um, she started to get caught because it kind of um, almost seemed like she was kleptomaniac or something, you know? So I didn't quite get her, but I, and somehow, and again, I don't know, I think this is downloading books in the middle of the night. I don't know if you do that. But I downloaded the fourth one instead of the second one when I went to read again. So now I'm reading Greta Green by Sunset, which so far I'm really liking because um, Miranda's a riot. Um, and Lord Philip is so much fun. So, yeah, um, this it's going to be a fun series. But I just, probably the first book in this series so far is the only book by her so far that I'm like, oh, I don't know. I didn't quite feel it. So I was reading that. Um, Another thing I'm going to do is I ordered this morning. I've been looking for good grovel reads. Now, I don't know um, about you, but I love a good grovel. So I went and I searched, and because I had found a good grovel in a MC series, it was a decent grovel. It wasn't great, but it was still a grovel. For this author, I was glad because she has a lot of cheating in her books. Um, and you really have to... Um, really um, get your patience with some of these books. But that was um, Tame My Life. It was a Nastro Nasty Bastard series by Haley Feynman? Feynman? I don't want to say that wrong. But it was a good grovel, decent grovel. But I thought, you know, I want a really good grovel because I like those sometimes. So I looked, and um, there was Lady Gallant by Suzanne Robinson that kept coming up. It's historical romance. Um, and from what I understand, um, this guy is just terrible um, to her when he misunderstands something and then um, he has to really grow up. But they said it almost makes you cry to the point of what she went through. And I thought, I have to read this book. So I looked at it on my Kindle and it was like $14. And I'm like, to me, a Kindle, if I'm going to pay... Um, for a book, I want a physical book that I can look at. That's the only thing I don't like about my Kindle. Once it's in my library, out of sight, out of mind, I, you know, I don't like that. I like being able to look at my shelf, um, pick an old friend, and pull it off if I'm going to pay that kind of money. So I did order a physical copy of it um, this morning because I really want to read it. They say it's really one of the best grovels out there. So we'll see. Um, I ordered that this morning. So, you know, trying to get my reading in, um, trying to get my work done, but trying to get my reading in um, when I have time. Um, I'm still reading again uh, Sydney's series. I started a series, Psychos, by um, Sheridan Ann, and it is, yeah, it's one of those. Again, it's it's like a psychological thriller type um, verse harem type thing, but it's the Depraved Center series. But so far, if you like that kind of thing, now if you don't, it's definitely not for you. But so far, it's kind of um, kind of really twisted. So I just started it. Don't know how I'm going to enjoy that, but we'll see. It is so far, it's kind of interesting. But again, you have to um, be able to read that kind of thing and. Again, for me, um, reverse harem is kind of like down there. I, I just don't understand it. But if it's a good psychological thriller, then I'll read it. Um, more for the twisted um, things that happen in the book than anything else. So anyway, I just wanted to touch base, um, talk about some of the things I've been reading and, you know, what I'd like to read. Um, again, I'm wait I can't wait for that. Um, Lady Gallant. I'm just, everyone talks about it. I don't know if you've read it because um, it's an older book, um, but um, I believe in the 90s it was released. But yeah, a lot of people said they cried at certain points in this book at, you know, what he did to her and that he is not redeemable. So, um, but he did grovel, grovel, grovel. So really, really looking forward to that. Actually can't wait. So I'm hoping that ships quickly and that I get it and I can read it. So anyway, with that, I'm going to go, um, just wanted to again, touch base, check in, talk about the things I've been reading and um, things I want to read. And, gosh, I'm still kind of tired. I know you 
probably probably look tired. I'm still kind of um, getting back in the groove of things. So, but I'm going to go. Um, but until I see you guys next time, you know, take care of yourself and happy reading. <laughs>